y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 3 to sims 4 where i am recreating the sims 3 families and their homes in the sims 4 that always sounds so confusing when i say it but thank you guys have gotten the hang and the hint of what i'm doing by now and i'm so glad you guys are enjoying this series as much as i am i absolutely have so much fun with it and i have been a little bit mia for those of you who did not watch yesterday's video where i explained um basically real quick um i was sick and then i just had like a lot going on that i am going to share with you guys but it's not the right time now i will share with y'all closer to christmas possibly but anyways i'm trying to get back in the swing of things and this has been actually i built this house a long time ago <laughs> so um i actually had it uploaded but then i didn't upload it at the original date i was supposed to so the voiceover made no sense so here i am starting all over but anyways today we are recreating the frio family from the sims 3 which consists of two brothers jared frio and connor frio so jared frio which was the sim that we just created a second ago that i yabbered on about not him <laughs> so jared frio is um the older brother i always thought connor was the older brother for some reason maybe because of his beard not really sure but jared is claire urson's ex-boyfriend and he is the father of her unborn child so the last video i did on this series was Claire Urson, so if you aren't familiar with her in The Sims 3, go check out her video, because they kind of, you know, go together. Um, I did even make her pregnant for you guys if you wanted to download her, so it'd be a cool story if you downloaded both of these family from the gallery and went ahead and played their life. Uh, but yeah, so he is known for befriending people and then betraying them. You know, Claire Urson is a perfect example of that. So he has like the inappropriate and mean-spirited traits. He enjoys insulting, humiliating, teasing, mocking others, even the ones who are his friends. Um, he's unsure of what to do with his life. He knows that he is a good cook. He's a natural cook trait, and he wants to become a five-star chef, but he doesn't have the motivation to do so. So, yeah, that's pretty much a little bit about Jared. His little bio says uh, Jared Frio isn't sure what he wants to do with his life. He knows he's good at cooking, but he just doesn't have the drive or ambition to become a great chef. He knows he's good at charming people, but he just doesn't have the desire to do more than scratch the surface of relationships. What will it take to aim him in the right direction? And he is um, in the culinary career as a spice runner at the time that you start playing him. And... Um, Real quick, I know we're past the create a sim. For some reason, their create a sim was like very short. I was kind of shocked at how easy it was for me to create these two sims. But um, I did go back and forth with their hair color, if in case you didn't notice. Because obviously in The Sims 4, we don't have the color wheel so we can't give them like certain color highlights so their hair looks red but it's not like a bright red so it didn't look right in the sims four to me to ha give them like bright red hair it was more of a reddish brown so uh, i just burped i hope you didn't hear that that was so rude i'm so sorry it just kind of came out in the middle of my sentence sorry <laughs> but anyways um i just thought it looked better and was like more close to the original hair as the like brown lighter brown shade in the sims 4 so that's why you see me go back and forth with their hair color so i apologize for that i was a little bit confused but anyways on to his brother connor so connor his brother is the younger brother like i said i always thought he was older i guess because of the beard but his biography states a loner by nature about the only person that Connor Frio doesn't mind having around is his brother, Jared. After all, his brother leaves him alone to be his own person, never trying to push him or mold him the way his parents and classmates did. No, Jared doesn't mind that Connor often likes to just sit alone reading a book, so why would Connor want to spend time with anyone else? So... Yeah, he is the younger brother, and he is a loner by nature. Um, apparently, the only person he doesn't mind being around is his brother, um... Connor likes to sit alone and read. He is in the journalism career track, and he wants to become a professional author. So, I always liked Connor a lot more, obviously, because Jared sounded like a total prick, such a douchebag. Like, he really is. Like, 
I couldn't stand him. I think that's why I never really played with Claire um, and the Frio brothers. I know they're a pretty popular family that everybody liked to play with because of the drama and her being pregnant with Jared's child. But I don't know. It's just, I, th I think he's such a douchebag. And at, at the time, I didn't really care for the drama. I just like, you know, having families and whatnot. But honestly, I didn't give him a fair chance. They're a really cool family, really cool backstory. But yeah, Connor is always my favorite. I just always thought he was very, you know, calm, cool, collected very you know easygoing loner type I've had a lot of people in some of my previous videos they have told me that they kind of got the vibe that Connor was into boys or men and I agree um, I, I do kind of get that hint from him could possibly be whatever you know you, you choose to do whatever his preference is I don't know but I, I definitely could see that for sure but yeah they're pretty cool pretty cool set of brothers I guess you would say completely different um, personalities but a little bit of a fun fact is that Frio in Spanish and Portuguese literally translates into cold so the Frio brothers are somewhat the opposite of the Caliente sisters which Caliente means hot but Frio translate to the opposite of it so Jared is kind of a Dina Caliente expe and Connor is kind of a Nina Caliente expe um, but Jared is also kind of a personification of fire and Connor is a personification of ice. So that is a little cool fun fact. And there is also a sim in Lunar Lakes, which is a purchasable neighborhood that you could download or buy in The Sims 3. And uh, there's a sim named Palo, pa Palio, Palo, I think it's Palo. Y'all don't come at me, I don't know. <laughs> and his relation to the family is unknown, but um, I, liked, I would like to think that their family is <laughs> distant somehow but yeah anyways on to their house a lot of you told me that y'all was excited to see their house because it's so different and it's so easy to build but for some reason I think I struggled with this house more than any of the houses that I've done up to this point not because it's hard Trust me, the floor plan was not hard, it's not complicated, but I could not get the sides of the house right. So you see me sizing it down, adjusting everything, moving everything back, because when I got upstairs, which in case you haven't noticed yet, downstairs, the entryway is actually the bedrooms and a bathroom, and then you go upstairs and it's kind of um, like a really open floor plan of the living room, the dining and kitchen and everything. So yeah, I, when I got upstairs, it was always just really big like massively big and I don't like a lot of space <laughs> I don't like to have to fill that space up and it just did not make sense because their house in the Sims 3 was not that big um, I don't know why I couldn't get it together it just I don't know but I finally did I think it's a good size and thankfully because the upstairs bathroom in the sims 3 version of their house was actually kind of long and big itself i was able to kind of cut it in half and include a little laundry room since i am trying to include laundry in all of these homes to make it suitable for the sims 4 so i think it turned out very nice their bedrooms are they're kind of small but you know what it works for the size of the house and their house is also supposed to be like a beach house which the juan goddard family which i've already recreated them along with the Frio brothers and Claire Urson, they all are supposed to be living in like these beach houses in Sunset Valley, like right along the beach right there. And um, I ended up putting the Juan Goddard family house, for those of you who don't recall, I put it on the island of Windenburg because it just looks so beachy and it just was the appropriate lot. Um, and I did not include their driveway or anything because obviously it's an island and you can't drive a car on top of water. It'd be really cool if you could, but you can't. <laughs> um, so anyways, I ended up making clear Urson's house in Brandleton Bay and then I just wanted to realistically have him be neighbors with his ex-girlfriend's um, pregnant or his ex-girlfriend slash baby mama. Is that is that what you would call it? <laughs> but anyways, I ended up putting their house in Brandleton Bay as well, which it, it kind of flows. The only thing that doesn't flow is the palm trees out front, which I don't necessarily think is a big deal. It's just like when I see palm trees, I think of the beach and like Brindleton Bay is like a bay area, but it's not like tropical. If that makes sense. And you know what? I'm really, really hoping. I really want University next. I think that's everybody's, you know, next 
um, expansion that we all have our fingers and toes crossed on. But aside from that, I really want to see some type of game pack or world um, or game pack, game pack or expansion pack or something with some kind of like tropical world some kind of beachy world, I think that we need that. <laughs> I also really want to see like a country, like south, like southern, like kind of like, what is it, river, is it Riverview? Is that what it's called in The Sims 3? I think so. It's like the free neighborhood with Don Lothario in it, y'all remember? Yeah, that was like very, um, like farmy looking and I really like that and I want to see that as well so I'm excited to see what is next in the sims and our little sims world here what's coming I have been enjoying get famous um I haven't played with it too incredibly much because I have been taking a little break but um, I still love the world I know it's small but it doesn't bother me I still love it <laughs> and I really love the features and the acting career and everything something that I didn't know I wanted but it's everything that I I did want, I just didn't know it. I needed the Sims team to tell me that. So thank you. It was awesome. I love it. I'm excited to get to, you know, see more of it. But yeah, I, I do want to see like a beach themed world and, and whatnot. But anyways, that's besides the point. That's just me rambling. Um, back to the Frio brothers as I'm furnishing their house here. I'm getting better in case you guys haven't noticed. I sometimes struggle with houses for males because naturally I feel like men and I say this all the time they just aren't very much into like the decor making things so cute and you know how women are when it comes to decorating but anyways I think their house flowed very nicely I think it looks very boyish but still very like cute if you if that makes sense <laughs> but I really do like their living room I gave Connor a little area you know where he can you know study and write and do all that fun stuff in the journalism career and their kitchen is probably one of the or probably my favorite part of the house um, I just like how it looks industrial it's kind of like an industrial loft style house slash beach house if that makes sense I just really like how incorporated that brick there which I do believe in the original house in Sims 3 there was brick in the kitchen I pretty positive there was but I really was okay I was kind of intimidated by the kitchen because it's such a big space and I was like oh it's a big kitchen but it's very open I like it right here um, I'm trying to put some dirty pots in the sink like I've seen some people do but for some reason I could not get it to work so I gave up on it um, I just imagine them being a little bit messy you know because I, I don't know I guess that's being stereotypical for me to say that men are messy and probably rude I apologize but not all men are messy my boyfriend's actually not messy at all but that's because his mom is an OCD clean freak and he kind of has to be you know he's kind of picked up on that um, and has become a habit cleaning up after himself which is a really good thing but yeah this little corner over here I really like I was able to you know kind of clutter it up put him a little microwave over there I think it turned out really really nice and then they have the little laundry room off the corner which is perfect if you ask me and the dining area I do believe once I get to the dining area you see me kind of go back and forth with the color swatches um, sometimes I get very OCD when it comes to things flowing I want it to flow and it's like we have so much furniture but it's kind of like it's not enough <laughs> and it's, sometimes it just takes me a minute to get the flow of things so you'll see me go back and forth on um some of the stuff I think I don't know did I I might have cut it out I don't know I guess I'll find out <laughs> but anyways I have been recording non-stop these past few days because I'm trying to take this week since I have not uploaded this week I've been trying to pre-record so I'm ahead of the game for next week because as long as I get things pre-recorded I can stay ahead of the game if that makes sense I can stay ahead of the game and I always have a video available I won't get too far behind and that's what happened like previously I got too far behind like with the holidays coming up and then I ended up like getting sick and you know just things happened um, so it kind of threw me off my game a little bit but that's okay we're back on schedule and see I, I did not cut it out see I'm changing the tables around and the bar stools but don't worry I get it together <laughs> um, but yeah hopefully everything continues um, on time I don't like holding myself to like the standard of I've got to upload every single day but I like to upload every single day I have so many different you know series going on on my channel that I feel like I need to, to upload them all once a week if that makes sense um, it's just like the the working me working 
it depends on my work schedule because I do my recording at work. Those of you who have not heard, um, because I just don't have any privacy at home. But me and my boyfriend are looking for a house, so hopefully soon I will have like me and my little office space, and I can do it at home and on the weekends and things. Whereas I can't really do that now. The only time I have to do it is at work, but I do get to edit and everything at home. I just can't record or do voiceover. So sometimes that's what puts me behind. But you probably don't care about that, do y'all? <laughs> probably not. So let me just go ahead and stop rambling about that. Um, it's almost Christmas time. Now is the time that I should have first introduced my little uh, Christmassy themed intro. I was a month ahead, like at the beginning of November, but I took a little break. So hopefully y'all didn't, y'all aren't sick of it already because we still have like a whole month to go. And I love it. I just decorated our office at work. And I'm, I'm feeling the Christmas vibes. I think it's going to be a very special year for me <laughs> um, and, like, my family and everything. Um, I really want to tell y'all, hopefully, I'm trying not to give it away, but honestly, I feel like I'm being very obvious of what the big secret is, but I don't want, I can't tell y'all yet. I just can't because... I just can't. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> but I'm telling y'all, I will tell y'all around Christmas time. Um, it's when lots of people are going to get the good news I'm giving it away I'm being too obvious if you think you know what it is do not put it in the comments okay I want it to be a surprise I'm very bad at surprises but anyways <laughs> anyways I'm excited about Christmas time I think it's gonna be fun it's gonna be cool um, I do need to start saving my money though you know <laughs> because of Christmas presents um, yeah once you grow up you got to start buying gifts. You don't receive them as much because <laughs> you're not a child anymore. You got to start buying them, uh, which I love to. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy very much, um, you know, buying gifts for people. But at the same time, whew, it is a it takes a toll on my finances for the month, which I, I feel like most of us can relate to. But, you know, I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling, trying to think of something to talk about through this voiceover. Let me give y'all an update real quick because I'm kind of pissed off about it, alright? So, like I said, this house right here, this video was supposed to have been uploaded weeks ago. Like, the week Get Famous came out, this was supposed to go up, but it didn't. So, I had already started on the goth household for the next video that you will see of this series. So, their house, like I said, I was kind of putting it off because I wanted to use the terrain and everything like that that came with the update. And, oh my, I was so impressed with how good it turned out. Y'all, it looked so good. I got the, you know, outside of the house, the landscape and everything done. Went to edit it. <laughs> and you'll never believe. Somehow, I stopped recording. Didn't know. Did not know. Didn't realize. And I missed all of it. Like, and then I saved it because I thought I was recording. So, I'm gonna have to go back in, take pictures so I know the correct like dimensions and everything, and start all over, which pisses me off because those big houses like that, it's like once you do it and it's like perfect, you're like, yes. And then if you it crashes or something happened, you know if you're a builder, it's freaking frustrating, right? So, anyways, yeah, <laughs> there's where I'm at. I'm gonna be working on that this weekend, so y'all keep me in your little prayers. But anyways, you guys, this video is wrapping up. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you like this little family here, the Frio Brothers. If you want to download them, their house, and them themselves, they are available for download on the gallery, but they do include custom content, so make sure you have that checked. But the house is custom content free. And can I just say, I love their driveway, and that's the main reason I think I was meaning to say this, but I got to distracted the main reason I wanted them on this lot right here so we could have that driveway on the side of their house which I think this was the only lot I could find that worked that way so yeah I love their house I love the little driveway underneath I think it's really nice but there's a sims 3 house and here's my sims 4 version of it. I think it turned out really nice so if you liked it be sure to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below what you want to see next suggestions all of that subscribe if you have not and with that being said I will talk to you guys later bye Thank you.